Hello everybody, uh, this is Bruce at GC Railfan. You have not seen me for a while, which is kind of shit actually, because I meant to... I just realised actually, I forgot to upload part 4 of my um, East Coast Main Line review. Never mind, we'll gloss over the fact that I never did it. Um, <laughs> um, right, today uh, I've got another one of my fantastically observant uh, videos. Uh, if, anyone make, uh, if anyone remembers my video, A Critical Note for IHH. Uh, stroke RSC. Um, this is in a similar vein, but a lot more diplomatic this time. Uh, as you can see, we're on the Armstrong Powerhouse website. Um, I'm sure Armstrong Powerhouse won't mind me um, being on their website. This is literally just as a research thing. Uh, this is literally just to point out um, uh, an update to a current product. Uh, this is not to criticise or embarrass Armstrong Powerhouse in any way. Uh, I would never do that. Armstrong Powerhouse are total legends. Uh, they're brilliant. Uh, keep going guys, kudos to you. Um, as you can see we're on the Class 20 Soundpad Pro and something quite interesting uh, has been found out about it. Now if we uh, just scroll down it goes through all the features, blah 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 blah. Um, now essential requirements just trains Class 20 collection and or rsc.com class 20 something interesting about that now you're thinking some of you will be thinking what well, rsc.com have released a class 20 and you'll be going what when did this happen interestingly a bit of a bit of backstory history um ihh was run by mr gobda and i think it was about january december time he shut up shop and from the information i have obtained um from like industry and word of mouth and shit. Um, uh, the rights of the Rolling Stock is back catalogue have been sold onto RSC, from what I understand. So they can now release his packs, re release his packs, and they've made certain alterations and stuff. What Armstrong Powerhouse are doing is they're updating what packs they can to suit uh, these re releases, which is completely cool. That, that's fine. Because, um, you know, I mean, I. Uh, uh, I won't be too criticative. Um, if you like the IHH model, stroke RSC, stroke IHH model uh, of the Class 20 or any of these re-releases, then it's in the eye of the beholder. I will not judge on that. Uh, this is not like the last video where I went absolutely apeshit. Um, the interesting thing is uh, a lot of the products are coming back out, including uh, this here class 20 um, and the westerns already come out class 52 the 117 has and the class 14 all of which have got the same sound sets that they had with IHH uh, that's okay that's all good and true but you know times have moved on and I think it is time that a little update was made here and there um, RSC have taken the liberty of doing this um, on certain things uh, such as the textures, the odd control. With the Western uh, what they did was they updated the controls. Uh, I'll just quickly go to a uh, rail simulator. Oops! Really? They updated the controls on the Western? Sorry? They updated the controls on the Western? Right? Yeah, um, th this is Brett Jocelyn everyone um, who don't know Hi. this. This is just um, a user from uh, RSUG TeamSpeak who uh, just came down with me into the private channel to uh, film the video because we were getting absolutely harassed with noise, stupid noises and screaming which at about 10 o'clock at night you don't really want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so headache. Yes, uh, so we're on the railsimulators.com Facebook page. Uh, as you can see the banner photo is of the Class 20 with some mineral wagons, obviously the old IHH model. Um, so they've they've got a pin post. Uh, this is 11 hours ago. The Bowie Class 20 chopper is now available. Blah 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 blah. In BR Green livery, uh, complete with scenarios for the stunning western lines of Scotland route. So there's a link to it. As usual, we've got all the comments. Um, I've got 10 Class 20s in my railways. Good yard. Well, good for you. I don't really care. Um, I mean, we've had a fair few people who are a bit sceptical. We've got someone here saying, um, is it any good? And then we've got someone saying, probably not. You know, as I said, I the beholder shit, right. Um, sorry, ignore me while I scroll down. Uh, you see, they've been promoting this Class 20 for a while. They've gone a bit Class 20 mad. Uh, BR Class 20, 11 photos. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the photo album. We'll go through it. So obviously, um, 
they have whoopsies that was the wrong button never mind ignore that um, <laughs> you're obviously... pressing the wrong button Thomas you're going the wrong way fuck oh! um, <laughs> so basically this is the cab interior views uh, they've just updated the textures made them look a bit better um, made it look a bit prettier a bit more realistic it looks alright actually uh, it looks better than it used to I think anyway but that, that, like I said eye of the beholder don't tell my word for it um, so yeah they've done numerous improvements now obviously in agreement with sending on the rights uh, Paul Gobder has um, basically ba basically flip. well no no that, that, well, we'll progress on that Brett but um, w what Paul Gobder did uh, the former right put the teeth back in Granville um, <laughs> Basically, because Paul Gobbler is a former proprietor of IHH, um, from what I know, he sold on the rights. Now, obviously, for those of you who are smart enough with an ounce of a brain cell between you, uh, obviously understand that this means uh, RSC stroke Dove Tail Games, whatever they call themselves this week, um, can actually alter them, um, they can update the textures, can, they can remove stuff, and make changes here and there. That otherwise we wouldn't be able to do uh, as third parties if there were still IHH products. Um, now IHH always said he'd take anyone for legal action from what I know, uh, however however true this is I'm not sure, uh, it would take anyone to court um, if anyone made a sound pack for his products and this was back when he was running IHH. Now because they're under the legal banner of uh, RSC and Dovetail Games that means these third party add-ons can now be uh, updated or created to suit the IHH releases which include this class 20 pack here which is absolutely cool I think it's a good idea I mean it gives people a bit more option to how they want things to sound uh, more choice better option you know I'm all for that I'm, I'm a bit liberal on this but um, so something interesting has come up on the Steam forums today and this is why I came here today um, now I'm actually <laughs> this actually makes a change that there's something to do with Railworks on the Steam forum because a few months ago they completely wiped everything. But anyway, uh, moving swiftly on, uh, I'll just highlight this text here. It says AP producing sound packs for old IHH stock has begun. When they say producing, uh, I think that should read editing. I don't know if they're producing any brand new packs or not, but that is remains to be seen. Uh, so user no bloody name uh, put the comments. Uh, if you put this on full screen, you'll be able to see on YouTube. Uh, Paul Gobb there is threatening. Uh, pfft, sorry, wrong page. I'm not doing very well here. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> right, sorry. Uh, no bloody name. No. Why is up with this computer? Right, sorry. Stones UK uh, user. Um, screenshots from RSC's Face Ache page uh, link. Uh, so I'll just show you this. Uh, that's literally an image uh, saying. Uh, this is what I was looking for on the page itself, but I couldn't find it. Uh, class 20 Soundpack Pro has been updated to support the recently released RailSimulator.com Class 20. To obtain this update, if you are an existing customer, simply re-download the pack from your downloads area, which I think is very good of Armstrong Powerhouse as well. Um, if you've already bought the pack, it's a free update. Brilliant. Uh, so, incredibly quick work, thanks. Um, someone called Ewan Dunlop raised a very good point. I think it's justified he raised this point. Uh, and he asked, are you sure that's allowed? Uh, wasn't it an IHH model? God forbid, it sounds like anything but a mashing machine with a brick inside it. I think he meant washing machine, but a mashing machine with a brick inside it is still quite a descriptive way. <laughs> um, so kudos to Mr. Dunlop. Uh, you, sir, win a Nobel Peace Prize for coming up with a pretty descriptive way. Win a way. Nobel Peace Prize and a cookie. Uh, and a fliddle. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, blame Omar Jalili for that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the comedian, by the way. Um, Rail Simulator... Right, Armstrong Powerhouse responded with RailSimulator.com's model, so their rules. Because obviously RSC have taken over um, the rights to the model. Uh, they can stipulate in their legal terms whether third-party add-ons can be made and people can use it and monetize videos and shit, which is fine. Um, which is brilliant. Um, so... They've basically said it's perfectly legal. Uh, if it weren't legal, I know that Armstrong Powerhouse wouldn't do it. I know they wouldn't do it. And this is where things started to get a bit heated. Um, it ended up getting onto the Steam forums. 
So I'll continue what Stones UK said in his initial post. Um, he said, screenshot from AP's face, face ache page link, uh, which you've seen. Here AP responded to a question about whether they can apply the pack short and to the point, which it was. Um, the original AP Pro Sound Pack has been out for a while, but now it supports a new DTG stroke IHH Class 20. I'll call it RSC, but if they want to call it DTG, let them. Um, so it's happening, and alteration to a lot of his work is inevitable. Well, we knew that one was coming. Um, I knew Paul. I know Paul will most likely be upset, but I guess it's out of his hands now. Question mark. Uh, good for customer service though, in my honest opinion. I guess we'll be seeing more and more sound packs now. Now you see, I take this as a very positive point. I can understand why Paul Gobder will be upset. And if he does watch this video, Paul, I can understand why you might feel upset by this. Um, you know, I'm not going to be critical of you um, in this scenario. But, you know, I mean, I, I will sit on the fence as much as I possibly can. But, you know, fair point. I mean, he's going to be upset anyway, it's inevitable. But... You know, this is how the cookie crumbles. I mean, the stuff that's now been sold on, stroke, licensed out to DTG. So, you know, this, I'm not this even is... sitting. I'm not even sitting on this fence. I'm leaning on the fence. Oh, I know you are, but you know, I mean, I'm I'm the reviewer here, so you know. Um, so yeah, uh, second post was by No Bloody Name. Um, what a username that is! No Bloody Name is username. That, that, that's that's <laughs> that's a good one. Fantastic. Actually. Sorry, it's now highlighted in white with blue, but it makes it easier for me to read. This class 20 is now on the DTG's products and is subject to the same terms and conditions as their others. They confirmed that themselves several weeks ago. Armstrong Powerhouse also stated they would treat former IHH releases as re-released by DTG the same as other DTG products. Bring it on. This guy did say bring it on. Clemo47 said it would be nice if they updated their sound pack. So let me highlight it. Uh, it would be nice if they updated their sound packs uh, for the IHH BR Blue Class 20 to 29 series. I expect DTG will bring them out as expensive as 1199 uh, versions eventually, though. That was grammatically shitly constructed. Uh, you, sir, deserve a cookie. Um, there's a small problem with this post the fact that we don't have a Class 22 to 29. Well, 22, 23 doesn't exist in Railworks. 24 doesn't exist in Railworks, really. Uh, 25 does. 26 doesn't, does. 27 doesn't, oh it does, sorry, my apologies, uh, 28, 28 does, kind of does, that's another IHH model which will probably get re-released, yep. um, and 29 doesn't, so some of those are a bit none to the point, but, uh, class 29, yeah, um, I'll, I'll go through a history lesson with you on these hydraulics later, but, um, I like this comment here saying, I expect DTG will bring them out as expensive £11.99 versions eventually though. Are basically saying 11.99 uh, Dovetail might do their thing and bring out sound strike models at an inflated price for what they're worth. Um, I will not pass judgment on the price yet. I mean, I will try and review some of the RSC releases, but I've already reviewed a lot of IHH diesels, and if they're the same, there's no point. But we'll wait and see. Um, I'll have to do a few bits here and there, but. Um, you know, I'm on the fence about the price, really. I can see why they charge that much, and I can see why they shouldn't be charging that much. But, again, eyes of the beholder and the people who purchase it. Mm -hmm. Stones UK then replied saying, yeah, one livery supplied, others available in the workshop for $5 a pop. When they say $5 a pop, I roughly assume they mean it's about two quid a shot over here, um, backwards engineering it-wise, um, on the currency. It works out about two quid per livery. Uh, I can see... I don't condone this behaviour, um, but I can see why people pirate shit from RSC, but yeah. Um, AP like to have proper recordings, uh, Peter749 responded, uh, AP like, oops, oh for goodness sake mouse, behave. Uh, it doesn't matter, right, um, there we go, right, we highlighted it. AP like to have proper recordings, but difficult to have a sound set for class 20 to 29 and the sense of parts for the locals you know, over the time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me skip some of the boring shit. Um, that one has another picture. There we go. Um, Foggy Morning has got his facts wrong, but I won't go there. Right, now, this is Paul Gobder, Sly401. If you ever see that name on the internet, this is actually Paul Gobder himself. Uh, his YouTube account is also Sly401. Um, so he responds to Stones, uh, Stones UK's original post about the link uh, with the photo that we've seen about the post and everything and the answer and that. 
Um, Paul, Paul replies with, it's no problem to me, two can play out that game, dot, 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 my invoice is on its way. So that's mm. where it already turns a bit sour. Um, little red flag he, going up. Yeah, a little red flag. Um, I can tell he isn't Italian because it's not a white flag. Um, <laughs> failure, he says, he says, failure to comply will result in minor alterations to AP sound packs, rebundling them and providing them for free and providing them for free on my site. Okay, black flag going up. Yeah. Um... He is definitely disqualified. Um, if the situation yeah, continues, <laughs> if I did get that joke, yeah. Um, for anyone who doesn't understand, black flag means you are disqualified from a race in Formula One. But anyway, get off uh, the track. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if the situation continues, then I will do the same for every one of his scenario stroke sound packs, referring to the AP developer. Uh, he then says, total lack of respect for an author's work, sly. And he said, besides the fact, I supplied him with the Class 20 sound files for free. So we we have some interesting info in this post. Um, so, you know, th this is this is interesting. I mean, you can interpret it either one of two or three ways. Um, the the way I I mean, the, you know, I can see why he's pissed off. Uh, I have to admit, I can kind of see why he's pissed off, but he doesn't really have a leg to stand on. He really doesn't. I'm sorry, Mr. Gob, though I can't stand with you on this one. Uh, but I am going to sit on the fence again as much as I, as I possibly can. Uh, it's not a guarantee, but I can try. Um, but this is where I say, you know, uh, basically, if Sly goes ahead and nicks the AP sound packs, making alterations to work with IHH stroke DTG stroke IHH models and re upload them to the site, he is then the one who's in legal hot water because then he is. Uh, altering and redistributing without permission the uh, packs on his own website. Um, How long do you reckon? <sighs> this, the question is: Is it going to happen or not? I mean, it's okay saying it's okay, Brett, saying you know when, but I mean. It, how long do you reckon? I mean, it's okay saying that, but will it happen or not? Is this guy all mouth, or mm. is it actually going to happen? Um, you can talk, I, talk, but can he walk the walk? Exactly, but I'm not going to get too far into that. I'm just going to say, you know, if AP guys read, uh, well, watch this video, if Paul sees the video, I'm going to leave that in your court, guys. You know, I'm just going to watch and sit and watch very carefully, but I'm bringing people up to speed with this shit because I think they need to know which, because not everyone's on the Steam forums, as you appreciate. Uh, so, yeah, he's kind of breaching copyright law in a way um, with AP uh, AP have been notified about this now so thank god so hopefully they're prepared for a shite storm uh, is probably the best way of putting it mm. um, you know saying if the situation continues uh, then I'll do the same for every one of his nice sound packs that kind of sounds like a, can I hear a baby throwing its uh, rattler out the pram oh yeah there we go the rattler's hit the floor you know, I mean, how how can you say that? I mean, <laughs> you know, if he goes ahead with it, he's even even in more hot water. Total lack of respect for an author's work. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think what Armstrong Powerhouse actually say when they make these sound packs is, you know, if if the model was bad, they would not make the sound pack at all. They really would not make a sound pack to work with them. You know, I, the the guys at Armstrong Powerhouse are good developers. They are forward thinking. Um, they know what they're doing. They have made so many fantastic sound packs. Why not make them for the DTG released IHH models? You know, I mean, I've I've got loads of sound packs. Forty seven Pro, thirty seven Pro, sixty. The um, Deltic one is absolutely the gorgeous. Deltic one's gorgeous. I mean, I've got the Sprinter packs. Uh, you know, I've got their very early 168 pack, which is now quite outdated, but it was on the first ones they made. And, you know, they're all good. They're all good. They're all an improvement. But, you know, Armstrong Powerhouse will sit there and think, you know what, it's a nice model. Let's make a pack to just improve the sounds, make it a little bit more realistic. That's all it is. It's not lack of respect for the author's work. Making plus, it better. Plus, besides, Mr. Sly, besides... 
uh, you've already sold on the license or had an agreement with DTG, so you know everything's under their banner and their legal rules. So you haven't got a leg to stand on. You kind of shot yourself in the foot, unless you are working for DTG, which even then is still a bit hit and miss. Um, the interesting comment on the bottom is also, besides the fact I supplied him with the Class 20 sound files for free, if you supplied him with the original Class 20 sound files as used on the original IHH sound pack, then it kind of reinforces the point why AP would also make the pack. They probably thought, we can improve on this, it's a challenge, it's a bit of work, can we get it to work with the DTG stroke IHH re-release? And they have. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. You know, that they're perfectly allowed to do that and they're perfectly allowed to charge for that. You know, that you know that <laughs> they're in their legal rights. Bang to rights, they can do that. Um Okay. Right, there we go. Someone someone has pointed this out. Um this user Robalan fifty five, uh when I get everything to highlight has said, oh, oh, I'll read it out, fuck it. Uh, Hi Paul, I just put on AP sound pack for the 20, and your original 20 still has your sounds on. Only JT and DTG 20s have changed. Now, this highlights the fact that the pack only works on the re-released model of the IHH Class 20, and not the original. Had it been working and effective on the original, then I can see why there will be a legality issue. But since the isn't, because it's on DTGs, like again, and like I'll say, there's no leg to stand on. Um, you know, that Stones has replied, yeah, I'm not sure he'll see that way, meaning Sly. Uh, he's allowed DTG to alter his files, obviously, but I think he wasn't. He wants to retain creative control over his IP, uh, intellectual property. Well, why didn't he stipulate that in an agreement then? Uh, you know, why didn't he make that in the original agreement with DTG? Um, mm -hmm. Then Sly goes on again. Um, my mouse is not working. So, oh, for goodness sake, fuck off, bloody thing. Oh, ooh, ooh. Now, this is what you call a mouse that doesn't work. I'll just read <laughs> it to you. Uh, so Sly replies, it's a question of respect. If he wants to go around undermining the work of the true devs of this world to line his own pocket, I'll be doing all in my power to stop the leeching. Okay, that's interesting. AP20 soundpack purchased and under minor editing will be available price zero pounds zero pence tomorrow. Sly. Yes, it is wrong, and yes, it is a protest, and it is exactly the same as he is doing. Wow. Just wow. Um Head desk. <laughs> I, 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 the face palm is so hard that even Sir Patrick Stewart's face palm in a meme would not be able to counteract this. Even my desk would not be able to survive the head desk that I In fact, I think do. my I think my hand just hit Pluto. Um, no, my hand left Milky Way. <laughs> and that's just a chocolate bar on the desk. But moving swiftly on, <laughs> um, sneaky bugger. You know, I. I, I, I I, I can't believe his comment. If he wants to go around undermining the work of true devs of this world, of this world, true devs of this world. Again, I the beholder shit. I mean, some people found uh, IHH to be a really, really good developer. Some people really loved his stuff, and I appreciate it. if they really loved his stuff, then that's cool. I do well, not have an thing. ounce. I don't, well, this is the thing, I don't have it? an ounce of problem with it. No, the same no. as you, bro. I know. I don't have an ounce of problem with it. What I have an ounce of problem with is what I have stated before. The way I'm sorry, Paul, is the way you throw your to toys out the pram. You know, I mean, there's no need for it. You know, I mean, I, for God's sake, I'm 21. You know, I mean. You sound like a teenager having a fit. I mean, you know, I mean, the true <laughs> devs of this world. Sorry, man, you're not the, you are not ever going to be the best developer or stroke truest developer of this world for Railworks. Hey, you ain't going to beat Smokebox. That's for sure. Look at Smokebox's oh, yes. <laughs> shit. You know, Smokebox is based in Britain. Uh, if you don't know about him, he produces Smokebox produces um, American stuff, and his scripting is so advanced. The meaning of the word advanced will be Doesn't. taken to a whole new level when these next product comes out. I guarantee you. But less of that now. Um, when that comes out, there'll be a gigantic, gigantic review on it. It really will be. Um, I like the way he says, uh, true does as well, to line his own pocket. Well, actually, he's not technically doing that. Um, 
it's already been released as a free update to existing AP20 uh, Pro Pack owners. They've already got the... They, they haven't been recharged for the update. So, you know, if they've got the DTG um, re-release Class 20, then fine, they've got sounds for free. It's only the people who've never had the AP Sound Pack who are going to be buying it. And even then, it's only 4 99 Actually, is it 4 99 Let's get the tab up. Yeah, it's 4 99 Yeah, look, look at the price. It's in here, in front of your face, right now, guys. It's in front of your nose. It's in front. Yeah, I know. £4.99, right? You can alter the quantity. You can buy it for a friend, for God's sake. Right, I mean, four ninety nine. I mean, think about the work that has gone into that pack, how old it is, and everything. I think that price is very justified. It's affordable. It's pocket money. That, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, and then Paul goes on to say, "I'll be doing all in my power to stop leeching. Bring it on. I'm sure AP will be interested to see it. Uh, AP Sound Pack uh, purchased. So he has actually bought it. That does surprise me. Whether he has or not, I don't know. But um, <coughs> not. I'm not going to judge on that. Uh, I'll." Bollocks to this mouse. Uh, AP sound like purchase and under minor editing. Minor editing. That's probably just to get the thing to work to his file path systems, which, when I looked at them, were not the best. Uh, will be available price £0.00 tomorrow, meaning on his website. That's the illegal bit. If he does that, if he actually does that on the IHH website or whatever site he uses, he is breaching the copyright law. There'll be no saying it. You know, he will be breaking the law and he will be accountable to British law for that um, so, uh, yes it is wrong yes it is protest no shit we can tell you you're protesting and uh, it is exactly the same as he is doing it's not he is not breaking any copyright or commercial law to do that he is allowed to charge for it he is using the pack uh, he's altered well AP has altered the pack to uh, be used only on the Just Trains Class 20 and the DTG re-released Class 20. That's all. That's all. You know, that's not breaking any law whatsoever. You know, so it's not exactly the same as he's doing. In fact, if anything, it's just been taken to a whole new unlawful level if you do that. Um, then someone called George90 has done the most fantastic thing ever you know if I, if if there's someone called george uk 90 out there for god's sake like this video send me a message man i owe you a pint this is fucking fantastic he replies directly to paul's post and says weren't you in trouble with the asa the advertising standards agency for dishonest practices last year and apparently you closed your site down to avoid the tax man hey somebody's got it <laughs> someone nailed it in one funny that isn't it Holy you know, one. I can I can already count on more than two hands how many people I know who reported. I, I'm not saying names. I'm not saying who they are or what. Mm. I would never, never land them in this shit like that. But I already know people who have reported them to the ASA, and rightly so. I'm sorry, but, you know, there was... I'm not going to go into the full depth of it, but uh, cause it's, an old, it's an old hat argument. But, um, you know, long and the short of it is he was breaking the trading laws. In the UK, and as far as I'm concerned, yeah, he should have been reported. So, Q lost the people who reported him. Um, and then Stones UK said, off topic, mate, and probably libelous. Let's drop it before it turns into an all out flame war, please. Funny that, yeah, because he'll say, You're going to get sued, you're going to get sued, you're going to get sued. And he said that to me before. He said that to other people before. It's a load of bollocks, man. It really is a load of bollocks. Um, you know, all I say is, Bring it on, bro. All I can say is, Come at me. You know, I'm not saying too much about my family, but uh, yeah, when one of your great uncles is a circuit judge and has very high links in uh, law, yeah. Try Remind it. me never to piss you off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that is actually truth. Right. Um, although I only use that if I need it. Uh, and say, right, and then this no bloody name, uh, sorry, bleh, 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 bleh. no bloody name then replies saying, well, the first part is certainly correct and is freely in the public domain. Link to ASA website. Let's have a look at this ship. So, Paul Gobder. Oh, shit, the address is there. Let's skip over that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get people to send you hate mail. Sorry. Um, right, so, background information. This is what happened last year. Iron Horse House is in breach of UK Advertising Co. for making obstan substantiated price claims on ironhorsehouse.co.uk. Uh, Paul Gobder trading as Iron Horse House, IHH, produces 3D models using railways, train simulator software, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the ISA invited uh, whether... 
price claims on the iron horse houses websites blah 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 were misleading because they were exclusive of VAT the ASA concluded that because VAT was not included in the stated prices and because the majority of iron horse house customers would have to pay VAT the price claims were misleading CAP compliance has contacted iron horse house and asked them to amend the website blah 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 due to iron horse house's non-compliance cap compliance took the decision to place their details on this section of the ASA website on 4th of March 2013 over a year ago now these details shall remain in place until such time as iron horse house has appropriately amended its website to ensure compliance with the CAP code um, bloody hell yeah I mean there's a whole shit on there I think that's only one entry um. Oh shit! Sorry, the address. Sorry. You know, we might want to blur that out when you edit. The I video. can't blur it out. Uh, I haven't got video either. So. Um, but I, I trust most people not to bully him. If they do, then I will unload a load of shit onto you for bullying him. Um, because it's not justified. Having an opinion is, but you know, you know, there's a whole load of stuff there. Um, action. Whoops. Oh, hold on. Sorry, that's good. <laughs> I clicked the next button because I thought there was more information and it wasn't. It was a different company. Uh, and saying, right, there we go, this guy uh, and saying you're going to give someone's commercial work away for free is worse than anything George UK 90 said. This guy's nailed it as well. You know, no bloody name has just turned around and said to Paul Cobb that, look, you know, you're going to be breaking the law even worse than what George UK 90 said. And he's right. He really is. Uh, I'm going to go with stones on this. Let's just drop it before we turn it into a Facebook group or the Steam Community Forum where people become moaning pile of old wank tissue. I like that, uh, but not very accurate. Um, you know, I mean, it has... no, okay, uh, we haven't had another post off sly. Uh, Paul Gobdo is threatening to illegally place Armstrong Powerhouse's product on his site for free. You expect people not to react? Perhaps Paul might wish to remove his comments. Fair point. Fair point, but it's going still on here, so you know. Uh, courting psycho, I'd hate to be your partner. Uh, am I actually surprised he's threatening to do this? Answer is no. Uh, he's just another rogue internet trader that thinks he knows best. You know, I mean, a lot of people have that opinion. Uh, could just make a cup of tea and let people dig their own holes instead of adding powder to the keg. Add powder to the keg if you want, and I think it will make him blow up. Uh, yes, perhaps you're right, but I'm just sick and tired of his behaviour, and frankly, uh, it's time he was called to account for it. Anyway, discretion being the better part of valour and all that. Uh, Mimi Jambo then says, I would like to see charges pressed against Paul, of course. Richard Armstrong hasn't once committed any form of offence here. There you go. Someone has also a proof of what I've said, technically. Uh, and then Stones UK replied to no bloody name. Uh, to be honest, I thought Paul was venting it again and blowing off hot hair. If he's serious, then it that is just insane in the extreme. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, there are other ways to go about things, and maybe he needs to talk to DTG and clarify his position where these models are concerned before issuing threats online. I'm now screen capping this thread just in case. Don't need to, it's going on YouTube, and if the video gets reported for XYZ reason, it will go back up again. And it will keep going back up, because it's not breaching any law, it's not hate speech, it's not anything. There is no reason for this video to be removed off YouTube. Uh, Foggy Morning then says, this is a very interesting stroke, perplexing. Uh, and it seems to me that many are reacting purely on the basis of the personalities involved rather than the principle. Uh, and to quote Paul Newman, who are those guys? Uh, I can see what he's saying, but... I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's hard, isn't it? You know, um, I think the majority of people are, whoopsies, uh, are united on the matter. Um, you know, no matter what is said... Uh, I, th I think the story is going to remain the same. The song remains the same as Led Zeppelin's song. Um, blue, you know it's I mean? a blue. <laughs> yeah, I know they're good. Um, you know, it's like the song remains the same. Um, no matter what goes on, you know, it's always going to come back to the same argument. I'm trying to find this really western. It was all over the friggin' place. Also, there's another thing uh, that kind of looks like a 117 that's been butchered. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll ignore that for now. Um, that's a rant for another day. Uh, where is the Western? Where is the Western? Where is the Western? You know oh, what? I'm probably. 
Uh, I mean, I'm at half an hour now. Um, so. Already so running out. Yeah, 34 minutes. Um, mm. Ah, right. 2014. Let's go up. Up. You know what? Oh, it's frozen. Never mind. Yeah. Let's try around the back. What do you mean around the back? If you can find it for me, I'll be even though more over the moon. Um, right, hang on, give me a sec. Rail it doesn't matter actually. I'll oh. tell you what, I'll just go on their website. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Railsimulators.com. <laughs> Hit enter. Right, go. Du -du 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 -du. Right, there we go. Lovely. Uh, store. Right, Western BR class fifty two. There we go. Lovely. Uh, oh, we've got product information. This is another product. This is another product that uh, has been re released by DTG. Uh, some of you may remember the Western quite fondly. Uh, there has been some changes to this. There's been some carriages added to it. Now, if we look at the Western, you can distinctly see it's modelled on Western Champion. This is one of the many skins in there. Uh, it has the headlight uh, beyond the Domino code, uh, which is like the prototype. The skin looks fantastic. Um, it looks quite nice, actually. Uh, the model was good. I, I can't knock the model. It looks great. Uh, in general, the uh, interior has been updated somewhat. And there is the GSMR or whatever, the radio there. Um, the carriages came with it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, but, you know, uh, long and the short of this is... This is another uh, IHH product which might end up getting a new sound set. This had, ex this had exactly the same <laughs> sound set um, as it originally had with IHH. Uh, the horn sounds like a farting duck on speed. Um, the engine sound isn't too bad, but it could be a lot better. And uh, there is one, on one of the axles, I think it's number two, and the middle one, it wobbles. It's like an egg shape because I, I the. Yeah, because it, it wobbles because uh, the wheel wasn't centered on the axle properly on one of the uh, bogies, no, uh, which like which can't be fixed apparently. No, I, was, um, I, I noticed it. I was doing about eighty. I'm like, yeah, you just see it bobbing up and down. Like, do, 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 do. I'm like oh shit, okay. Ah. Um, <laughs> which unfortunately can't be fixed. But anyway, that Stop happened it. at the time. That's a different matter. But you know, I mean, this is seven ninety nine. Uh, where's the price? Seven ninety nine. There you go. It's in really small blue writing, just about there. Uh, so it's in. There you go, it's seven ninety nine. Uh there may be a sound pack come out for that. Now again, will Mr. Gobbler throw out the pr uh, throw the toys out of the pram? Yes or no? I don't know, I can't tell. He'll probably throw himself likely. out the pram. I think he's throwing himself down the hill. Um but I mean uh, you know, it's uh, it's up to the individuals involved if they decide to disgrace themselves or try and be as balanced as possible. I'm not knocking Paul, if I can help it, because you know he, he was a developer in his own right, and he spent a lot of time on his creations. So we should duly respect that he spent the time. But no, if you've licensed them out to a different company, um, you're on your own. Tough shit. So I'm going to wrap it up here and say, yeah, uh, you've seen everything now. It's been documented officially. Um, you know, I, I will be back soon with more positive videos. But yeah. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, um, lol, uh, that's, a, that's a cool photo, um, <laughs> uh, but as far as I'm concerned, um, it gets to the point where I just have to say, you know, there's, no, there's not a leg to stand on, um, same as Heaven Mills McCartney, uh, but, you know, some of you would go that joke, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he hasn't got a leg to stand on, sorry, Sly, you haven't got a leg to stand on. And I'm grinning. I really shouldn't be grinning, but <laughs> you ain't got a leg to stand on, buddy. It's all legal. All legal. It's all kosher. It's all halal. It's all there, mate. I tell you. So yeah, uh, I'm wrapping up. Uh, this was GC Rail Fan. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad if you'll stick it out all the way. I hardly doubt any of you will. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's worth the shot. So see you later soon. Uh, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Bye.